tosiaan ja pistin television tähän itse asiassa tietokoneen kakkosruuduksi. Eli tällainen, tällainen taktiikka tällä kertaa, mutta lähinnä toi striimin tiedot on tuossa toisella ruudulla, niin sen takia niin kuin, televisio tuppaa menemään jonkin ajan kuluttua niin valmiustilaa, mikä on tietysti hankala, hankalampi juttu, mutta niin se, niin se vaan on. Sitten olemme tällä hetkellä jossain. Saamme kertauksen tässä. Snake, Asia. ja tosiaan niinku käytämme sitten lämpökameraa. Tässä itse asiassa näkyy nyt toi seuraava huone. Kaksi kautta kolme rationia. Vissi mihin pitäis päästä en ollut kaasun alari. Tätä pitää paikassa nykyäänkin. Tosin ehkä vähän eri syystä. so that he won't be able to go. Kiitos. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this mm. is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Snake, that is a nuclear warhead storage area. Are all these filled with nuclear warheads? Yes. But their detonation mechanism has been removed, so I don't have to worry about this island turning into a pile of smoking rubble. No, but if the casing is damaged, they may be leaking nuclear material. Don't worry, Snake. 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 Don't Siinä on laite. Sinne ei pääse. Snake, 
Watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. The home. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Those are remote controlled miniature reconnaissance missiles, sometimes called Nikita missiles. They've got CCD cameras in their nose cones. After you fire them, they'll transmit their visual data to your monitor. You can control their flight freely. But the missiles have a limited niin amount of fuel. Watch the gauge carefully. Press the first person view button to see the missile's visual data. Use them wisely. Jaha, täällä onkin tapahtunut jotain. Kyllä ne purha on massa itse murha. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Jaha, no tämähän henkilö me tunnemmekin jo. Jaha. Täällä tehdään varrasta. Guys, it's like one of my Japanese <laughs> animes. I have come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, 
Make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Varmaan Reetun voisi räjäyttää jolla. Nää. Älä ota osumaan, kiitos. That's good. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Tää vois näppäimistellä varmasti tosi ikävä pelata. Jaa, aika se. Typaan niinku periaatteessa kolme kertaa lyömään tota.
Mikä se granaatti on? <laughs> Josko nyt riittäis? Snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Vara hatuttu. What? Not again. should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. Uh -huh. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. That's the only that ninja <laughs> is Grey Fox. The question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long How long you stay stay in anime? Uh, are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. It's <laughs> cool. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! <laughs> I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? 
The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. Uh-oh. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the hey, president the personally thing. supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. <laughs> a railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. No. The one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. 
And don't worry, I've got this. Uh -huh. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <sighs> oh, no. Damn, they've spotted me! Meryl! What happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? Huh? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Uh oh. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. <laughs> Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? What is it? I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. <laughs> this is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. <laughs> Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. 
What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or imprisoned. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who does what he does, killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? <laughs> How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. <gasps> so Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching you, you have that 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 cool model. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys. No niin, but the other thing. You mean this? This is even him for pistol. Ihan paljon todella this paljon tavaraa. This is all I got. Where could the other two be? Move by. I have no idea. But they must näin. be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. <laughs> Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. <laughs> it's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? <laughs> Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable oh. with it than I am with a bra. Yep. <laughs> If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? <laughs> I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're <laughs> ready, okay? What happened to the music? Uh... Hmm. 
It's a good thing you hooked up with Meryl. You should have seen the Colonel. He doesn't like to let it show because he's the boss, but he was so happy he could barely contain himself. I'm glad to hear that.